hii nishukuru wangwana watu wa Bomet kwa kutukaribisha hapa nyumbani na washukuru tena kwa sababu tulikuja hapa na rafiki yangu rais tukaomba kurayenu na mlituongezea maombi nyingi ndio tutatengeneza serikali ya kenya watu wa bomet mimi nimekuja hapa kusema asante sana nimekuja kusema asante sana piga bomet na kwa sababu tulikubaliana na nyinyi ni kwamba tukitengeneza serikali ya Kenya itakuwa ni serikali ya kufanya kazi kwa wakenya wote vile tumetengeneza barabara kwenye mvua hapa bonye tumetengeneza kile mitamia ile ya mfini mpya ya nami hapa bonye vile tunaunganisha stima watu karibu milioni nane na nusu kenya mzima hapa bonye kulikuwa na watu elfu kumi na moja tenge datim leo tumefikisha watu elfu sabini na tano ambao tumewaunganishia stima vile tulijenga na tukasema tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunabadilisha kilimo na tunabadilisha mambo ya elimu vile tumejenga technical training college mia moja sabini kenya hapa bome tumejenga technical training kwa kila constituency constituency tano iko na technical training college in all constituency in bome county na nia yetu ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunawatayarisha hawa vijana kwa kuwapa elimu na utuzi ufundi na teknolojia ili waweze kupanga ndani ya ajira tukienda mbele watu wa bomet mnanielewa lakini mimi nimekuja hapa leo kwa sababu nataka tukubaliane mwaka huu tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tuko na nafasi ya kuunda serikali nyingine Kenya watu wa bomet mko tayari bomet mko tayari hebu nasema tuko tayari hebu nani wana wanasema tuko tayari tuko tayari tuko tayari sikizeni na rafiki zangu kuna wale wanasema ya kwamba eti wanataka kubadilisha katiba waongeze mamlaka ya rais waongeze vyeo ya viongozi wapange sijui mambo ya viongozi sisi tumesema hivi mwaka ni huu sisi tumesema kabla hatujapanga mambo ya viongozi na vyeo na mamlaka kwanza wangoje tupadilishe uchumi ndio tupange ajira ya hawa vijana kwanza hawa vijana wapate ajira mimi nauliza nini watu wa comment sawa sawa nataka munisikize kwa makini tunaelewana nataka tusikizane kwa makini mwaka ni huu na tumesema hakuna vile watu wachache wataketi kwa mahoteli na maofisi na miji eti watupangie nani atakuwa rais wa Kenya 
eti mimi utakuwa kiongozi wa taifa letu wananchi wenyewe ndio watapanga mambo ya uongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka ni wote watu wa Bemet ninataka eti watu wachache kwa sababu wako na uwezo na ushawishi na pesa eti watupangie na wao watakuwa kiongozi wa Kenya itapangwa huko ama nyinyi ndio mtaamua itaamuliwa kule ama itaamuliwa hapa itaamuliwa hapa nyinyi ndio mtaamua mimi nataka niwaambie kuna watu eti wanatengeneza ibaraka ambayo atalinda maslahi yao ambayo atalinda mali yao ambayo atalinda yale wao wanataka ati wanataka kutuletea mtu ambayo wamefanyia interview wa kulinda mali yao na maslahi yao eti watuletee tumchague mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa Bomet nyinyi mko tayari kuchagua kibaraka na mtu yote Mnataka rais mwenye atalinda maslahi ya watu wachache ama mnataka rais ambaye atalinda maslahi ya kila mtu. Ndio mimi nataka ni watangazie. The gentleman and ladies. Alice Kata. Out of They think they can install their puppet on the people of Kenya. A person they have telegraphed to protect their influence, protect their role, and protect their issues, and protect their interests. They think they can impose on the people of Kenya. I want to tell them, the people of Kenya this year will vote against arrogance, against contempt, and they are going to elect a leader who is going to look after the interests of every citizen of the Republic of Kenya. We are going to tell them we will not accept a puppet who wants to change the constitution so that they can impose on us a, a puppet and impose on us a president who has the powers of a king. We are not ready for an imperial president in Kenya who controls the judiciary using the ombudsman and controls the executive using appointments and controls the legislature using appointments. We are not ready. The people of Kenya want an accountable president like the one we have in the current constitution. The people of Kenya will not accept a puppet who will come and protect the trickle-down economic model that has benefited a few people and impoverished the majority of Kenyans. We want a leader who is going to change the economic model so that the economy works for the majority of the citizens of our republic and lifts every citizen up in a bottom-up economic model. Ni lazima tuwaambie wale kwa lugha ambayo wanaelewa. Yule mwanaelewa cha mimi. Na ndio mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu. Na nataka niwaambie mambo manne alafu nimalize. Mwaka huu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu wakati wale tunashindana na wao eti wanapanda kutafuta handouts ya hawa vijana. Mimi nawatangazia tunaweka bilioni mia moja kwa housing, agro-processing, value addition, manufacturing, ndiyo tupange ajira ya hawa vijana wetu hawa. Tuko na vijana milioni ime Kenya. Wamemaliza shule, wako na certificate, wako na diploma, wengine madigili, lakini lewe wanaangaika kwa sababu wakuna mpango wa ajira. Tulikuwa tumepanga ndani ya Big Four mambo ya ajira lakini watu wachache sabotuas 
wali sabotage mpango wa Big Four ili kuwaweka vijana hawa katika hali ya kukosa kazi at saa hizi wanapanga kuwatafutia handouts we want to tell our competitors these young people of Kenya are not material for handouts these young people of Kenya are intelligent they are going to school this is material for jobs and business not handouts Number two, sisi tunasema kazi ni kazi. Hata kama kazi yako ni kidogo, nicho kuna mtu kupanga hili biashara yako kama kidogo tukusaidie msaada wa pesa ili tuinue biashara yako kesho iwe biashara kubwa. Wafanye biashara wengi hata wako kwa hii mkutano wengi wakifanya biashara wanakopa pesa kwa shaili wanakopa pesa kwa fuliza hawa wananchi wengi tayari wamekuwa blacklisted kwa CRB ni kweli ama si kweli mimi nikisema hapa watu wako blacklisted kwa CRB waweke mkono juu nione si unaona sasa dunia hiyo yote watu dunia mzima wako kwa CRB wa Kenya milioni ine wa Kenya milioni 14 wamekuwa blacklisted kwa CRB kwa sababu ya kukopa pesa kwa shayo na pesa kwa polisa na wa Kenya wengi wanahangaika mimi nawaambia watu wa Bomet mwaka huu mwaka gani mwaka gani mwaka huu hawa watu wanaofanya biashara ya micro small and medium enterprise mwaka huu tunawawekea bilioni hamsini pesa ya serikali ili muweze kuinua biashara zenu tuwaondoe kwa shayo tuwaondoe kwa fuliza tuwaondoe kwa CRB muweze kujisimamia na kutengeneza pesa na kuajiri watu na kuondoa maskini mashinani tunaelewana jambo la tatu tunaweka pesa ya kutosha kwa mambo ya kilimo mimi nimekuwa waziri wa kilimo i know what i am saying mimi ninasema hivi kila mkulima Kenya ajue ya kwamba serikali tunaunda mwaka huu itapanga vile tutaweka pesa ya kutosha vile tulikuwa tumepanga ndani ya big four ili tusaidie kila mkulima apate mabako zaidi kama ni wachai kama ni wakahawa kama ni mamaziwa kama ni avocado kama ni wasukari kila mkulima aweze kuongeza mapato aweke pesa kwa mfuko tutafukaza makatel tutafukaza mabroka na tutahakikisha kwamba kuna bei sawa sawa kwa mimea ni mapato ya kila mkulima ili tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba kila familia na kila mtu anaweza kumisha familia yake na tupunguze gharama ya maisha katika taifa letu la Kenya ili tuweze kuzalisha uchumi ndio tuweze kuondoa umaskini katika taifa letu la Kenya jambo la nne watu wa Bomet wewe jambo la nne mimi nawaambia hivi na nasema hivi because this is what i believe in and this is what we will do kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu kwa mapenzi ya Mungu kila mmoja wetu hapa kila mmoja wetu hapa kila mmoja wetu hapa na kila mkenya mahali popote kila mmoja wetu atakuwa na bima ya NHIF ambayo utalipa kulingana na mapato yako na wale ambao wana uwezo wa kulipa serikali ya Kenya itakulipia ndio kila mkenya aende hospitalini atibiwe apatiwe madawa na aende nyumbani bila ya kulizwa pesa zozote that is how we are going to create a new society for people wanaelewa watu wa Kenya wanaelewa bila kubali kitaunda hiyo serikali mwaka huu mko tayari kuunda hiyo serikali mwaka huu mko tayari 
tuko hapa na wabunge kutoka Utambani tuko na wabunge kutoka Central Province tuko na wabunge kutoka Coast tuko na wabunge kutoka Western tuko na wabunge kutoka kule LTC tuko na wabunge kutoka kila sehemu ya Kenya na wamekubali tutengeneze chama ya kitaifa ambayo itaunganisha wa Kenya wote watu wa Bomet tunakubali tutengeneze chama ya kitaifa na kuunganisha wa Kenya wote Hebu niwele wana wanasema tuko tayari kuungana na wakona katika chama ya kitaifa. Mimi nikisema harambe, tunasema UBA. Harambe! 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 Nikisema UBA, tunasema kazi ni kazi. UBA! Kazi ni kazi! UBA! Kazi ni kazi! UBA! Hebu wale wanasema tutaungana pamoja tutaungana pamoja tutaungana na Kenya. Ah, ana nguvu. Nguvu nguvu ambayo tume na. Nguvu ya dini na. Ah. Asante sana. Mimi sasa nataka nikubaliane na nini? Nyinyi mko tayari tuunge serikali mwaka huu. Watu wa Bemet, wa Kurazenu, mtapiga kura kwa mwaka huu. Tutengeneze serikali. Mtanipatia governor na senator na mbunge na MCA. Hebu niwe wao wanasema tutapitia hiyo kazi kwa moja kwa moja kwa moja kwa moja kwa moja. <laughs>
haya wacha nimuite huyu mwingwana anaitwa Didmas Baraza watu wa Bomet bwana Yesu asifiwe Arambe Yudi mimi nimetoka Bungoma na huko Bungoma tunawaacha leo ya mengine yote tumeingia chama kitaifa ya UDA nyuma ya William Samoei Ruto na sisi tumesema katika chama cha UDA kwamba we are not competing with them but we are competing to break our own record because so many of William Ruto who has set the bar very high in the mainstream where we are here na tunajipanga ili tuweze kuboresha wa Kenya kwa mfumo wetu wa bodo hapo nyinyi wapi wa bodo map nyinyi wapi wa William Ruto wacha niende kwa ishara ya mkono wacha William Ruto kila pale kila pale kila pale namba amerika sana wacha nimuite kijana anaitwa Ndendi Nyoro kutoka kule kenya kutoka kule Kiharu na nataka niwaeleze hivi watu wa Bomet vijana wenzangu pale Moranga pale Kiabu pale Nyeri pale Meru pale Ebu mwaki Kenya yote tumeamua na kauli moja ya kwamba tuko na rais wetu mwaka huu wa 2022 na rais wetu ni William Samoei Ruto. Wataniona kula wa Ruto 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 Ruto. Ya pili, usikizane. Haya, ya pili. Ya pili nataka kusema hivi. We want to tell our competitors and especially Mzee Tinga. Mimi namheshimu kwa sababu ya umri wake. But we want to tell them that the only assurance the people of Kenya want is that when we defeat him in August this year he is not going to cause violence in Kenya na hata kataa matokeo ataenda nyumbani akapumzike na ya mwisho mimi nataka niwaeleze hivi tunasikizana vitana IEBC imeanza maneno ya kuchukua kura kutoka tarehe 17 kama mnataka rais William Ruto lazima vijana wote wachukue kura vijana wote wachukue kura kutoka tarehe 17 vijana wote wa Bomet wacha nione kwa mkono wale tutachukua kura na niwashukuru sana mnatukaribisha sana umati mkubwa na nikisema Ruto tunasema state na sawa sawa William Ruto William Ruto William Ruto William Ruto William Ruto nikisema William Ruto tunasema kazi ni kazi William Ruto William Ruto William Ruto na ya mwisho nikisema UDA tunasema kazi ni kazi UDA Ndio 
Mara, Mataki, my ten and Yakanga, what has become Narabi? Abamataka has to put to the end of Nahiro. Number one, Nikamba, I want to say this without fear of contradiction. I know the debate in the country is centered on the things that were said in Angolet by Honorable Medical Linturi. The first thing I want to say as a member of the team that we are together as UDA is that we first apologize on behalf of Honorable Linturi, who has also apologized. We want to say that we apologize for what Honorable Linturi said. Number two, we give our 100% commitment as people of the Hustler Nation that we will maintain peace, we will respect everybody, we respect our competitors, we know that politics is about competition, it's not about communities and tribes. And for that reason, we will stand firm as leaders to ensure that this goes forward. The last thing I want to say, I know that we have shared some political opinion. Your Excellency Deputy President, we know the number Kura na agenda. Sisi watu wa kutoka rift vale na promet. Kuna kuomba kitu moja tu. Hila program ya development kwa hii area. Especially in the Bosco Dome. Na Red Dome. Na Kimwa Red Dome. Na Mayot Dome. We want you to focus on the development of our people of this region. Because we know we are not supporting you because you come from the North. We are supporting you because we believe, Your Excellency, that we have a program and agenda that will change our country. We never want to ask you to continue working with us. We will stand behind you as leaders from this region. We will stand from you and as UBA, and we will give you leaders from all UBA party to, to lead this country. As I understand, I am the Wariki.
Azimia Simon Ara Chichi. Kukonye ngulegi wa excellence. Seta Zubar. Enda nai kwa mpi. Kwa nai nge ube. Asante ni ngamu wa bari. Thank you very much. 